Hello people, JSM. It's been a year since I put this studio on. It was a nightmare getting the studio PC going. The ISA card, Winman Midiman ISA card, always crashes it, always doesn't let me start the machine, so I have to remove the cards. Once I remove them, put them in and get it going, it's fine. It runs and it never misses a MIDI signal, but hey, it's what it is. So, it's been 20 years, it's more than that. It's been 20 years since I played tribal, it's been 20 years since I played any of my songs. Bang got a bit of a play, but only a minor. The next one now is Tribal Frenzy, and that's going to be something to do with the samurai spirit. That's my next project that I'm on, using Pixverse, text to video, animation. And um, it's been 20 odd years since I've actually played a song from start to finish in my studio. And at first it wasn't sounding quite right. And I thought, what's going on? Have I missed loops in the sampler? Have I missed something? There's gaps at the end every now and then. And then I realised in Cakewalk Pro Audio 8, it was playing on the number one, which is half the speed. Instead of two, which is normal speed, and then three is double speed. But the blessing there is, I've now heard some loops in there that I wish to take out and use. So, a mistake's only a mistake if you don't learn, eh? Anyway, let me get to work. And now we're going to shut that down. I'm going to mute the didgeridoo because we're not going to need the didgeridoo in the samurai spirit. And I'm going to record the first one with the compressor on. So put them up to there. Press that. And I'll speak to you really, really soon. Twenty fucking years.
Hello, hello YouTube. So JSM at SM Studios. Um, just had the uh, studio on. Recording, well, sorry. Just had the MIDI part of the studio on playing a song I made 20 odd years ago called Tribal Frenzy. And this is because I intend using the song in my latest um, Pixverse video and it's going to be called The Samurai Spirit. The Samurai Spirit, a JSM and Pixverse exclusive. But the greatest victory lies not on the battlefield, but within yourself, mastering your emotions and Overcoming your flaws is the truest test of strength. Two, don't let the fear of death hold you back. The greatest fear is a life lived without purpose. Find your passion and make a difference. Number three, the failure is inevitable, but, but giving up is not. Fall seven times. Rise 8. <laughs> Perseverance is the key to achieving um, your goals. I can't remember what I was going to put with it at first, but it didn't work. But when I tried Tribal Frenzy, I realised that would work. The other thing I did realise is I'd need to do some work to it. In other words, taking some things out, maybe putting some more things in. Haven't got that far yet, but what I have done is I've ripped the original song uncompressed and lightly compressed you'd say because all the copies I had downstairs were mp3s and um, I couldn't find an original WAV copy so yesterday was the first day I played in its entirely one of my 20 year old songs in the MIDI recording studio and that was nice it was actually nice it took me a while to get it to play right because at first it, there was gaps kept appearing so at the end of particular samples, there'd be a gap. And I thought, am I supposed to put a loop in that sample? Does it, is it supposed to loop and I've lost the loops? No, in the end, let's see if I can do this. In Cakewalk, so that's Cakewalk Pro Audio 8. And that is Cool Edit Pro. So in Cakewalk Pro Audio 8, you can tell I'm an old bugger, can't you, eh? Yeah, and that's the Windows 98 PC. Um, anyway, in Cakewalk Pro Audio 8, I looked up and I realised it was on the one button instead of the two. Now, there's three buttons in there, one, two and three. Two plays at normal speed, one plays at half the speed and three plays at double the speed. The blessing is, when I heard it back, I realised, oh, I can nick some of those bits and play with them in Cool Edit Pro. So that's great. A mistake's only a mistake if you don't learn something, and I learned something. So I actually ended up recording it at half the speed a couple of times and recorded the song again at double the speed. And I can tell I'll be able to use some of the bits and bobs. Also, I intend expanding the song. And even to the extent that it might last over half an hour, say. And that's specifically because of the... <coughs> of the uh, audiobook material I've generated. You could say it's to do with Song Su's Art of War, but it's, no, it's more to do with the Samurais, the Samurai and their spirit and um, their mythology. And I used uh, AI on that. So that was, a, that was developed with 11 labs. So the audio talking is 11 labs. The video is Pixverse and my song will not be in all of the versions. In fact, the very first version is effectively just me using lots of different sounds and building a soundscape. So it, I'm trying to give the impression there's fighting and swords and what have you. And then later on, a bit of my song should appear in one of them, maybe two. I don't know. don't know how far I'm going to go into that because I, I can end up getting carried away making 20 mixes of the same song. Don't know. And then something else I did over here in Cool Edit Pro, sorry, in Cakewalk Pro Audio 8, I was changing some of the uh, sounds being played, which is more of a live approach, which I learned in the mix. And I am going to be applying to Bang, which is part of the Quake EP, if I ever get run back around to that. To be honest, I don't think I'll be doing that now until I get a stronger PC, because I do not want to work on that. 
in anything less than 60 frames a second. I can see the difference and there's no going back. It's torture. So to get this song into a place where I can perform it live and freestyle effectively, I need to do a lot of work into the programs for the Akai 6000. I need to evolve them a little bit. Might do that, might not do that. Don't know, don't care. It really depends how much recognition these songs get and whether I want to go down that road again. So it's a case of just watch this space. So anyway, yesterday was the first day after 20 odd years playing one of my MIDI songs back from start to finish in its entirety. And I was really happy and impressed with the overall quality. You know, it's so nice. It's just so nice just to hear it and know that it's MIDI. It's not just me playing a WAV downstairs that I generated so long ago. And because the original version, I could only find an MP3 format and was heavily compressed because it does work in that song to literally dynamically compress all the life out of it and you just have everything effectively normalised. Uh, but the problem is I couldn't backward engineer that. So I couldn't... It didn't work in the samurai spirit. So the, vo uh, the talking wasn't coming through and the sword fighting wasn't coming through either. Hopefully now that I've ripped them and I've ripped quite a few copies, that will solve that problem. Um, so yesterday when I first powered up the studio PC, same old, same old, the Winman MIDI Man 4x4 is an ISA card. The PC is Windows 98 and it hadn't been switched on for about a year. So of course, after a year, I started up and guess what happens? Nothing. So four hours later, after taking the cards out, putting them back in, <coughs> which seems to do the trick, um, I got it up and running again. I was trying other things before I went down that road, but it didn't happen. It hasn't in the past. The strange thing is, once I do that, today, powered up first time. No, cl no clashing, no crashing, nothing. Um, I did, I did mess around a bit yesterday and maybe I went down the wrong road, but my ego my temper was getting the best of me didn't break anything but just not I wasn't as focused as I am today but having said that it started first time now and it probably will for six months and then it'll suddenly do something again I'm so used to it now and I always get my Emma says get my hair off I don't know if that's a Worcester saying I do but it's a love-hate relationship it's another Marmite moment for me so anyway yesterday after <coughs> sorry I got a bit of a that yeah, same old, same old virus, infection, deficiency, God knows. So um, after yesterday, it was so nice to hear one of my songs being played back in the original MIDI format in Cape Watt Pro, Pro Audio 8 from start to finish. This, there's a strange thing though. It wasn't until playing the song back and then I'd loaded up the Akai 6000. The keyboard isn't even used. Um, Kickbox Pro, the, the sampler was waiting for three of the hours because I couldn't get the PC running. And in the end, I got it running. The blessing is the laptop up there that talks to the 6000. Bit of a mouse problem. I think it was the mouse causing the problem. And you have to be really delicate with your USBs with the Akai 6000. I'm basically saying if you don't play with things too much, the laptop will communicate to your 6000 forever. And I've never had a problem. But I seem to have more temperamental moments if I move the mouse or what have you. And also try and keep the USBs to a minimum. But when I was playing the song, I thought, what channels or what? Because originally... You have to bear in mind, 20 years ago, got to figure out where does my finger go? 20 years ago, um, this would have had its own settings for the song Tribal Frenzy. Those are long gone. I don't have any of those anymore. It's a bit dark. The lighting in here is not well set out. I did have it better before, <coughs> but for some reason it's not as good at the moment. So um, I had to redo all the uh, settings. So I, I thought I'll have a look at the sampler and see what channels each sound comes through. They all came through one channel, <laughs> and it still does, to be honest. So what you're hearing is all through a stereo pair, effectively. Nothing more, nothing less. God knows why I did that. 
The only thing I can think is I never finished this song. I might have ripped a wav, but I just assumed it was a finished copy many years later, whereas it was just something for me to listen to until such time I break down into individual channels. Now, at the moment, I'm not going to do that. There's no need. It's already at a standard where I want to be able to take it to the next stage, which is doing the video in DaVinci Resolve using Pixverse.ai um, video of basically manga fighting, Japanese samurai fighting. Not quite fighting because you can't get that out of AI. Um, but it's close enough. <coughs> It'll certainly give that vibration and give you that feeling, the intention of what I was trying to achieve. So um, quite a few, well, uh, as an example, so is LucasAid. Quite a few of my songs recently, are, the videos are being determined by AI because that's simply what I can get access to at the moment. Okay, I've done some using the Pixabay videos, Pix, uh, what's the other one? Can't remember, VidEasy videos, things like that. I do seem to have gone back to that for a while, not since around the world. I'm enjoying the AI. Um, the other one that I'd started, what's that called? Out of Touch, which isn't really a song. I haven't gone back to that because I didn't expect to finish or get LucasAid to where I got it. And then not long after that, I played around with Pixverse and all of a sudden I discovered a whole new set of videos I could use. And when I realised they went with um, Tribal Frenzy, that was it. Uh, that was my next job. Very spontaneous, which is a, rare for me. I'm not a spontaneous person, I'll tell you that much. Except when I pick a cup up. So, um, I've just spent the last two days ripping the studio playback into WAV format. I also made some derivatives thereof of the song, so playing around with some of the channels, changing the keys to change what's being played back, really. <coughs> and that's determined by the uh, programs in the sampler. And I was discovering some things that I really like. Now, yet again, I discovered all this in the mix. I had a plan in my head for a long time. I knew that when I got back to the studio, there were certain procedures I was going to try, certain tasks and tools I wanted to try and implement. And to be honest, it paid off big time. So I could take Tribal, uh, tribal Frenzy to a, to a more live approach, and I probably will eventually, but just not yet. I'm not interested in that yet. Um, I'm very interested in getting videos done. I, I am thoroughly enjoying the video side. You can be just as creative in making video as you can audio. I'm stating the obvious, I know, but I didn't really know that until I started playing with uh, DaVinci Resolve. And I've learned a lot, I really have. <coughs> so um, I've come to the end of ripping Tribal Frenzy. The next stage will be to um, maybe just chuck a track together to do with the samurai spirit. I don't know about that yet. But, oh, there is something else I need to do with this song. Take some of the samples out. So the didgeridoo will need to come out for the samurai spirit because I want it to be very Japanese feeling. And I've got some authentic... Uh, open source samples to load into the sampler. So we're talking Mandarin, we're talking flute, and the flute in this is pretty damn good. I could probably get away with that, but I'll still try what I've got first. And we'll see how that goes. But it's just, it's so funny, coming up into this studio, there is a love-hate relationship because I've got a Windows 98 PC that is stood by me through thick and thin, but it is sometimes a nightmare to get it up and running. But once it's up and running, I never, ever have noticed a MIDI dropper. In other words, you guys know what it's like. You eventually hear and you go, oh, something's not been triggered there. Maybe I'm lying, but I've never noticed. The only, other, the only time I ever had that issue was when I was burning a version of a song for a record label, Verjam Records, and um, but that's 25 years ago. So it run, it's up and running, and it's fine when it does run. It's just it 
sometimes it's hard work. And also, in its defence, it, the PC had been dead for a year. I haven't switched it on for a year. So until yesterday, it had been off for over a year, maybe a year and a half. So maybe it's just a BIOS thing. I don't know. Don't really care. As long as I get it up and running in the end and I can jam with the songs, I'm quite happy. Um, that's really about it. I, yet again, didn't intend talking. But as as with anything, when the tablet's switched on and you've got someone like me here with too much to say, I'll probably end up saying something. The Samurai Spirit. Uh, that, that was an interesting, interesting one because I, without going to political now those who advocate for Tsung Su's art of war each to their own uh, war is not peace and peace is not war I don't care what words you use uh, to me there is no art in war war is destructive and that's how I see it but of course when I listen to some of the metaphors and when I bother to spend a bit of time listening only because I used AI this is again, let me get this very specific. I used, it's changed the name, isn't it? It's Gemini, which used to be Bard. So I used Gemini to search globally and find me some samurai spirit metaphors. And then occasionally it quoted Song Su's Art of War. So then I decided to generate more to do with Song Su, Art of War. Now, to, in, all, in all honesty, I haven't even listened to that yet. Because there's a lot of it. Whenever I generate content, I always generate way too much content. But that's because I can then make variations thereof. Or I just refine what I've generated and I get the best of whatever. Even that's not true because I sometimes take the first bit I use and that becomes the product. Um, but it's just a habit I've got into, I think. But anyway, when I listen to the Samurai Spirit, it's very spiritual. It's what I believe. Same as going to the Sikh temple and hearing what that uh, the Guru Granth Sahib is about. Uh, the Quran. All these religious texts are teaching us something. And it's every time I come across something, I always realise I'm hearing the same thing again, just from a different point of view. And that's what happened with the uh, samurai stuff. So that will be done <coughs> soon. Don't know when. I will definitely get a short up or some short version Within the next week or two, maybe a month, I don't know. I'm not really in a rush. My life is changing a little bit at the moment and I need to go with that and I need to go with the time. But it's all a blessing. It's all good. So I'm very happy. Um, it's, it's nicer that it's summer now so I can come up here and look, I haven't got my jacket on. That tells you everything you need to know. Uh, I think I'm going to wind down now. I'm going to stop the video. I might add some more a bit later. I might say something else to you guys, but I don't think so. Don't know. We'll see. Um, I, I do need to try and use my Loop Library forum a bit more and actually speak on it and talk occasionally. It's very functional for me. It's like a news and feedback, and that's about it. But um, it would help if I did communicate a bit more and speak a bit more. But the, these videos definitely do a good job of that. So... Um, Yes, sent the LucasAid letter. So, you know, they might like the song. They might not like the song. They might like the video. They might not. But I made that happen. Little old me, sitting in front of a PC, doing all this, making all that noise over there. Then making a video. I made that happen. And guess what? So can all of you. You can do exactly the same thing. And I hope you do. And I hope some of what I do inspires you to do just what you want to do. Anyway, I'm going to end this video. Love, like, learn, live. But don't forget to live. Peace and blessings be upon you all. JSM is going back to Windows 98. The Samurai Spirit. A JSM and Pixverse exclusive. The greatest victory lies not on the battlefield, but within yourself. Mastering your emotions and overcoming your flaws is the truest test of strength. Two, don't let the fear of death hold you back. The greatest fear is a life lived without purpose. Find your passion and make a difference. There are three failure is inevitable, but giving up is not. Four, seven.
seven times. Rise eight. Look, perseverance is the key to achieving your goals.